On days like today, the only place we want to be is outside, especially after being cooped up all winter because of the cold and because of COVID. And with vaccination numbers rapidly climbing, more people feel comfortable again venturing out into the world, including our seniors. Spring brings more sunshine and warm weather, but for seniors, there are still some things that they need to keep in mind to stay safe and healthy. Joining me now live to talk about it is Rick Carr from Care Builders at Home. And Rick, some seniors we were talking about haven't left their home in a year, so I bet they're itching to get out and explore. Why did you want to come on tonight to talk about this? Hey, Megan, thanks for having us. Um, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things that seniors should keep in mind uh, with the increased activity with the spring. Uh, first and foremost, like uh, many of us experiences, uh, allergies. Mm -hmm. So we would suggest with the seniors who um, are prone to allergies to keep your windows closed. And even if you've already been vaccinated, think about keeping your mask on when you go outside because these masks that we use and have been using um, mm -hmm. also are effective in keeping out uh, filtering pollen and allergens. Plus, a lot um, of people went out over this past weekend with the nice weather, and some of us experienced our first sunburn of the year or of the past two years, right? Very true. And, it, and even as I age, I notice that I'm more prone to sunburn when it, it, with, with short periods of sun. So with uh, the sun exposure, the, uh, the heat stress is more likely to affect older adults. So we do suggest every time an elder or an older person goes outside that they put on sunscreen, wear a hat, loose clothing, and try to stay in the shade as much as possible. Plus, if you're not used to all that activity, then you go out and I feel like then you could easily become exhausted quicker or dehydrated. Another suggestion is to keep hydrated when you're outside. Um, I have experience with my own mother. She, she uses a walker and uh, every time she goes out, she takes a little bottle of water like this and keeps it in the compartment of her uh, of her walker. Uh, she has it right in her garage, and we just put it in in the car, and she takes it with her all the time. She for, she remembers it more often than. During the spring, we do see some nasty weather. Do you have any tips for seniors involving the weather or venturing out in the weather? <laughs> sorry. Did you hear what I said? No, I'm sorry. I was getting a call. Oh. How dare someone call you during a live interview? I said, when it comes to nasty weather. It was one of my clients. I think he, he knows I'm on, on TV. <laughs> well, tell him we'll, we'll call him back later. What tips do you okay. have for seniors involving weather going out in some of the storms that we see during the springtime? Yeah, there, there's some extreme weather we experience here in Pittsburgh uh, during the spring. And one of the things that we do experience is power outages. So we would yeah. suggest that everybody keeps on hand flashlights, I'm trying to get my camera here there and I got this little nifty thing for Christmas myself from my sister in law. It's a little lantern, but it's, it's nice to keep it. Um, keep it handy for the power outages and then make sure you have a good supply of batteries to uh, have on hand as well. Well, Rick, thank you so much for taking your time tonight and for offering some tips. We appreciate it. We are happy to help.